day because it's freaking windy. <laughs> We're going to run from Islands Caravan Park, the beach into town, and then back along the bike path. The probably 10 12k loop. It's a beautiful day, so let's go running. I'm going to show you this. Just look at the surface, it's so, <laughs> so broken. Need to be really careful. Super, super careful. It's actually great running for a trail runner along the rocks. The wind's just creating like heaps of extra resistance. It's a very good workout. We got to like be fully concentrated on that surface because that's oh, brutal. Oh, I'll show you some of the view, eh? Like, it's a beautiful part of the world. shadow here just for a moment I'm gonna talk to you this is a uh, very hard work hey if you're a runner you've got tips and techniques for how to run into headwinds hit me up in the chat please hit me up in the comments would love some advice I'm struggling even like nice hard beach running but it's soft sucky beach running so chuck this like 40 50k an hour wind on top of uh, sucky sand it's a tough outing today let's keep going keep going at least it's beautiful Finally got into like the lee of this little headland and uh, it's the first time on the whole run that I've actually been able to hear myself think. It's beautiful isn't it? It's a streaky bay. 1802 Matthew Flinders sailed into this part of the world and named it Streaky Bay because the seaweed and algae here like release this sort of oil at a particular time of year and puts these streaks on the water in Streaky Bay. Took them about another 40, 50 years for people to come and settle here. Uh, of course, indigenous people have been in this area for a long time before, before that. Thousands, if not tens of thousands of years. And I can tell you what, they had it pretty good, didn't they? <laughs> what a life, what a life. All right, ready to get going? I'm gonna go around this hill and smash the headwind again. One more beach to go and then we're gonna turn around and take the bike path uh, back to the campground. Let's get going. Oh. Oops. Superb, isn't it? Like, look at the water. On a clear day, it just would be a clear still day. Just amazing. Ready? Are you ready for that wind? 
<laughs> I am actually, I'm loving this. It's been ages since I've run into block headwind. At least you don't overheat. It's no matter how hard you pump your arms, that wind just keeps you nice and cool. Yeah, that over there is Streaky Bay. Over in the distance, you might just be able to make out the wharf sticking out into the, into the bay. We're not going to go all that way, it's a bit too far today. We're going to go here. Don't you love it when you turn the corner on a headwind and suddenly it's a storming tailwind. Ha, feels so easy. Ha. I'm just so strong. Strong today. <laughs> hey, enjoying the run? Hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I would love that. Thank you. I've got a couple more Ks on this beautiful cycle path. Wind is blowing basically directly behind or 45 degrees off my uh, which side's that? <laughs> Port side? Port is left, I think. <sighs> Port side. Very nice anyway to have it there. <sighs> Alright, let's get through this a bit more quickly, shall we? driveway here just to make sure just in case there's a few hundred meters short of five kilometers <sighs> well I'm pretty happy with that <laughs> my 12k run and managed to get my fastest 5k ever probably large part thanks to that very strong tail in 2150 which for me as an amateur and just getting into running is not, not too bad. <laughs> anyway, it's been a nice afternoon out and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Because it's always a beautiful day to go running. Until next time, have a great day.